In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two things to do with gradients. The first one is just adding a simple fill gradient, and the second one is putting a gradient along the path. So that's a little bit more advanced, but still very interesting. So, first thing you do is um, select the object you want to put a gradient on, and drop down on the fill, go to your library, choose gradients, and choose whatever's right. Now I'm going to choose pastels, and here we've got a whole load of pastel gradients popped up. I'm going to choose this nice little red one, a pink one. Now we've got a little pink gradient. It's a little bit um, unclear, so maybe I can choose that gradient to pink through to green. It'd be easier to see it on the screen. I can then take my gradient tool, just press G on the keyboard or just this button there, and left click and drag. You see that it describes where the change is happening. So, Anything beyond or after this line is a fixed color, and that line tells you how it's transitioning. So I can go very short or a very long. Now I'm gonna say pink at the top, green at the bottom. That makes me happy in this case. I can also double click on one of the anchor points at the end and say, I'm gonna put my color scheme in. So I'm gonna choose red right through to purple. Okay, it's quite an aggressive color, but for the case of what we're doing here, this is going to work. And maybe in your own design, that works. It's worth noting that you can do the same with the stroke on the outside, but I'm going to keep this as black. The same technique applies. So we're going to do something a bit more interesting now. We're going to add a custom decal um, to our garment. So I'm just going to zoom into the bottom here. In the bottom left, I'm going to put something transforming from one color to another along a path. Now, to give you a bit of background on this, if you would take the pen tool and just draw a shape, okay, we can get rid of the fill, so it's just the lovely shape there. It's currently it's a black S. If we drop down on the library and choose gradients, you know, let's go for bright, um, hey, why not, let's go for this, uh, let's go for this pink actually. It's good for the fill, hasn't it? <laughs> Get rid of the fill, drop down as on our palette there. You can see what's happening here. It is light pink on the left and dark pink on the right, but you can see that it transitions all the way along, but as you go back, it goes back to the original color and then dark again. If that's what you want, great, we're fine. But if you want it to start at, say, white at the start, so here, and then move along and only become dark red at the very end, then this isn't working. So how do you do this? I'm going to just delete, delete this. Actually, I'll make it um, smaller and move it along. So I'll put that over there just as a reference point. So we can do this following on the path is start by drawing two shapes. Now you can play around with this experiment to see how different shapes work, but I'm just going to start with one um, circle there and another circle there. Select both of them and make sure that we've got a fill of, I don't know, let's say white, and a stroke of nothing. So two white circles, apart from I want the next one, um, transition from white through to, I don't know, let's pick a color. Let's choose black, because we can see it quite easily on our work. So get rid of the stroke, add a black thing. Again, this is not trying to be the most artistic or fashion design, it's just to show you techniques that you can use in different parts to help you realize your ideas. Ideas first, design first, then build. Anyway, we take our blend tool. You press W on the keyboard or just blend button there. Click once on the first um, object. There's no feedback, there's nothing saying well done, you've clicked, but just trust it's been selected. Go through to the second one, click. And we get this sort of tube going straight to the other one. Now, that's along the path, but hey, that looks just like if we added a, a stroke blend, like we did with this example over here. So what we do is we then take our anchor point tool and we can start playing around. We can move it. I can do this. Actually, we can really twist it around itself if we really want. You know, let's do this. Maybe more like that. Maybe turn this point around here. 
That's kind of cool. So now you can see how it really is having the gradient following all along the path. It even looks a bit 3D as we've got me on there. So this is just one example. Um, there are others. And you know, you shouldn't really feel like you have to use this, but if you want to, you can. As so you can see here, you can modify the path just like you would modify a path to any other illustration. So then that little jagged thing, it follows around. A little tool as well, once you select this, you can double click on your blend tool and you can see the kind of contours you've got. So you can choose between a line to page or a line to the object parking around. We can take a specified steps, smooth colour. Smooth colour is the best one to go for, but anyway, that is how to put a blend along a path in Adobe Illustrator and apply a gradient to objects. Take the skills, have fun with them, and use them to great creative extent.